afternoon, YouTube, and welcome back once again to Fat Cat Collections. Pretty excited to share with you guys today uh, another leather or pleather or vegan leather jacket um, by a company called David Outerwear. Now, they were nice enough to reach out to me about a month ago, and uh, they sent me three of their jackets of my choice. I chose the ones that would not only be uh, something that's uh, not just not just good looking, right? But something that is a little bit different than anything else I have in my collection because I do have a pretty large collection of leather jackets. But uh, also, it was going to be a great opportunity to really put this brand to the test. Now, uh, anytime a brand reaches out to collaborate, one, you got to be careful out there, right? There's all kinds of scammers out there, and you do have to be careful. And even as a shopper, as a consumer, you have to be careful with the different brands. There's all kinds of uh, social media brands out there uh, that basically will put out like a huge campaign, tons of ads, and people order, and the next thing you know, they never get their orders. They're getting something completely different than what's pictured. Uh, it's a common problem, and you really have to be pretty careful with brands uh, that advertise kind of like this, right? And, and, and you can't really knock the brand for advertising on social media because social media is such a huge um, uh, platform for people to interact on, right? Uh, people, I think, are on social media more than they are on TV or infomercials, stuff like that. Uh, but a lot of them, again, a lot of times they are. there are a lot of scammers out there, especially around the holiday season. Um, but uh, so like with any brand that reaches out, I want to go ahead and kind of feel them out and kind of check, you know, some emails out, do a little background uh, the best I can to ensure uh, that it's a legitimate brand, right? And that they're not going to be sending me something uh, that is, you know, completely different to what they're advertising. That's, the, that's one of the biggest problems I've seen with a lot of these companies out there. Uh, and, and not to say that that's, it's a problem where it's like, be careful ordering, uh, you know, like there's more scammers out there than not. It's not the, not the case. There's a lot of really great brands out there, but you do have to be careful especially around the holiday season. So I'm really happy to say that David Outerwear is a legitimate company, and I'm really pleased with the products they sent me. Uh, now, uh, these are pleather jackets, and they do have other jackets. One of the jackets I have I'm going to show you is a um, kind of just more of a knitted jacket, more of a uh, combination hybrid vest jacket. I want it to be a little bit different. Uh, you know, all I have is leather and uh, vegan leather style jackets, so I want something a little bit different. Uh, but they sent me two of the jackets that I thought, you know, not only would be a little bit different than anything else I have in my collection, but ones I think that are, in my opinion, uh, their best designs. Now, I'm hoping to collaborate with them again because after receiving these, uh, you know, you never know what you're going to get with a company, right? And I got to tell you, I am pleasantly surprised. Um, you know, I have a few vegan leather jackets in my collection, and they're nice, you know, no, no big deals, but uh, these are really pretty exceptional. I mean, they're so nice that, uh, you know, I mean, for somebody who doesn't who believe in wearing actual leather, uh, I think this is fantastic. You get the look, and really, you know, I'm it's hard. You'd be hard pressed to really tell the difference, other than the fact that you know, uh, real leather has a little bit more of a it has a leather odor, whereas vegan leather or pleather uh, has more of a synthetic. Uh, scent when you first get them and that dissipates. So not 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 that I found that you know uh, an issue at all with these. I didn't really think they had much of a scent when I got them. Uh, but that's really the only difference as far as looks. Uh, they look, I mean, they look fantastic. So let me just first um, start off with just showing you guys this one here. This is the engine jacket, and I'm going to show you all three jackets, and I'm going to do a, a video uh, specifically for each jacket individually with a little bit more of the specs and stuff like that. What I encourage you guys to do, if you see anything that you like in these videos, just go ahead and click the link in the description, check out their brand, check out the different models they have. Now, one thing I also want to touch base on here is that a lot of times I've heard this same song and dance with Invicta. Uh, that Invicta buys their watches, right, from Ally Express, and they just mark them up. They're just Ally Express watches. This is the same kind of thing this company is getting slack for, right, on social media or on YouTube, right? Guys say, oh, you can get this jacket for $30 on Ally Express. Uh, that's what they're doing. They're putting their tag on it. Now, listen, I'm not at the David Outerwear factory. I don't know how they manufacture. I didn't have that in-depth conversation with them. What I can tell you is that I know when I recommend a product with, to you guys, right? If you guys say, hey, I like that, I want to buy it. I can tell you that this is what you're going to get through David Outerwear. Now, I don't know if there's other brands that put slap their label on something else. I don't know if there's other brands that copy David Outerwear. I have no idea. But for somebody to put up a YouTube video stating that this is just some cheap Chinese, uh, and let's, just, let's be very clear, as I mentioned in the past, uh, the word cheap in Chinese really, uh, it really should be affordable in Chinese because nothing really coming out of China, for the most part, is inferior quality, right? There, China's... 
Of course, you're gonna find basic stuff, right? You're gonna find more affordable things, right? I mean, you can't compare a $10 watch with a $100 watch, right? There's gonna be differences. But I will tell you that most of the things that I get uh, directly from Ally Express have been fantastic. Uh, most things nowadays are not made in the United States, right? And remember, labor costs determine what a jacket's gonna cost, right? Or what a product's gonna cost. So keep that in mind. I don't know what you can get on Ally Express, but I can tell you when I recommend David Outerwear to you guys uh, for being of great quality, and, and awesome looks, um, you, you know that this is what you're going to get. I can't tell you the number of times I've ordered stuff off eBay or a uh, perfect example if you haven't checked out my video on my uh, ostrich embossed leather jacket. I got that off eBay. Sellers a lot of times will, will show you a picture of the legitimate real deal high quality item, right? And then send you their rendition. This is a huge problem in the leather jacket industry right now. There are, you guys have seen, I have over, you know, 40, 50 leather jackets, um, you know, a lot of times, there's lots of great sellers, don't get me wrong, and that's why a lot of times I always recommend buying through Amazon, right? But there's a lot of great sellers who don't sell on Amazon. So a perfect example is US Jackets. That's a company I did a negative review on recently for their bait and switch tactics, and the fact that they're basically showing you a picture of something that is you're gonna get something different. They're gonna show you a picture of this legitimate, maybe David Beckham jacket, and then send you their rendition of it, and it's gonna be, a lot of times, completely different. Inferior quality, not the same. With David Outerwear, what you see is what you get. Their pictures are, are it's, it's, you know the old saying, a picture's worth a thousand words? That's what you get with David Outerwear. They're, you're not getting something that's different, you're getting exactly what you get. It's not a good, it's a picture that's been done where it looks better in the picture and you get it and it's cheaper. I've seen that bait and switch tactic done before. You know, <laughs> we look at all, a lot of people on Instagram, you see them out in public and it's like, whoa, is that the same person, right? That's not the case with this brand. What you see is what you get. So let's talk, now that I, I rambled on that subject and got that out of the way, uh, let's talk about the engine jacket. So again, I'm not gonna read everything about this jacket, um, this is a vegan leather jacket. I think that's the nicest way of saying uh, pleather or fake leather, but I like vegan leather. There's a lot of folks out there who are vegan who don't believe, um, and this isn't an argument about that because I am not one of those guys. I wear whatever I like. I really don't care. Uh, so, if, But if you are the kind of person who is sensitive to where leather comes from, if it's something that you just don't really believe a wearing animal hides, hey, I'm not faulting you for it. This might be a good option for you. Uh, you know, if, if that's if you're okay with stuff being made in different parts of the world. So again, ultimately you're getting the leather look uh, one, without really the leather price in a lot of cases, uh, I don't want to touch on that too, but you're getting a nice quality jacket. So let me back up a little bit and show you what you're getting. Uh, this size is a small, okay, and I weigh about 178 pounds, uh, about five foot seven. So I will tell you that the smalls in David Outerwear, uh, hands down with, you know, you guys have seen a lot of my videos, a lot of jacket reviews. Let me back up a little. Hands down, the small in this brand fits me exactly how I want a small to fit. I have smalls that are pretty good. Some smalls are a little bit tighter. You know, there are smalls and there are smalls, right? And that can be so with any, any size. I'll tell you that this fits me absolutely perfect. And you know, that's not really gonna mean much to you unless you have the exact body type that I have uh, or you know, the, the way that I'm built. Uh, it just really depends. You really don't know until you get it. That's the only downside with buying anything online. But I can tell you that if you've watched my videos before, and I've recommended a small jacket for your size or whatever size I've recommended. I can tell you that for my size, this small is perfect. It's not, uh, I have smalls by Laverpel, for instance, and they're extremely tight, uh, which is still good. I like them, but this is just an absolute perfect small. And it's not just this jacket, it's the other jacket I'm gonna show you in a second. So, what do you get with this jacket? You get two side pockets, you get a couple cool zippers on the breasts. Uh, a, a very uh, cool cafe racer style uh, collar. I'm not sure. I think that's what you call this collar. You get some uh, some epaulets, of course, and some side pockets. What I like about this jacket is that you have uh, kind of like this kind of black uh, faded distressed kind of look. Now I thought it was going to be a little bit lighter. Um, it's very close to black, but it's it kind of looks like a just kind of a slightly distressed uh, lambskin. There's it's not charcoal, it's not 100% black, it's right in between. So, uh, but again, when you look at it in person, you'll find that it, it is, it leans more towards black. It's just a slightly lighter black. So don't get it and think you're getting like a, like a grayish charcoal or like a heavily distressed jacket. It's a very mildly distressed jacket. Uh, as far as the way it feels, to me, extremely similar to uh, lambskin, very soft. Uh, but when you feel it, if you're used to feeling jackets, lambskin feels just a slightly bit, I use this loosely, this, this term, uh, this, 
this word loosely, uh, uh, fuzzy. It's not, you know, lambskin has a little bit softer feel to this. This feels like a very, very soft, uh, more of a shinier lambskin. I have lambskin jackets by Wilson's that this, I mean, honestly, if you didn't tell me that this was not uh, real lambskin, I would probably think it is. If I didn't have you sent to determine that, uh, I would think this is absolutely lambskin. So it looks great, it feels great, super comfortable. Again, fits perfect, and I love the fact that you have uh, some of their David Outerwear branding on the side pocket, very subtle. Uh, I love it, and what I like about it is that you have these pockets, which really are just for show. I mean, I don't think you're gonna put anything in here, but when we compare this to other jackets I have, perfect example is Pretender Leathers. Uh, I love their brand, but uh, their Stormbringer jacket, uh, as cool as it is, it is a very bulky jacket. So this is what I kind of consider like a spring jacket. It's very, very light. Uh, it's the kind of jacket that if you just want to have the cool look of a leather jacket without overly uh, being too hot, you know, there's a lot of times when the weather gets a little bit nicer or from going out somewhere where I'm be indoor, the mall, whatever, um, you know, you don't always want to wear something big, heavy, and bulky. This really has no insulation that I can tell. It's just a, basically a uh, kind of silky liner in just the, the, the leather material, leather type material. So, I mean, it is absolutely stunning, guys. And you can see uh, it fits perfect. Again, I get the question a lot, what size should I get? That really depends on you. I like my jackets a bit tighter than looser. This is absolutely perfect. I mean, it looks fantastic and I, I absolutely love it. I, I really have to give props to David Outerwear. They have some really great styles. And, you know, again, guys, when you have 40-something leather jackets, you know, it gets difficult to find things that are different. They all start to kind of look similar, right? This is a perfect execution of, a, of an awesome-looking uh, Cafe Racer-style jacket. I love the fact they got some little bit of that quilting that I love right on the collar. A lot of them have that going all the way across the back. This has kind of a similar look, but they broke it up with the epaulets. It's an absolutely stunning design. I move on kind of quick here. I don't want this video to be too long. Because, uh, again, guys, I will review these individually. So, um, next one here. This is an awesome jacket, too. This one here is their... i got to go back here. So, remember, that was the engine jacket. This one here is their Titan jacket. This is available in this color and black as well. Uh, this one, guys, is probably my favorite one. I absolutely love this. It is so different and unique. Uh, and, again, this is a small as well. This does have an attachable zip-off hood, which I've, take to, I've taken it off already. Um, you know, some guys like the hood look. Um, you know, I, I'm, I'm really glad that it, it has that, the ability to unzip. Uh, you know, when I got it, I, I, know, I knew it had the hood. And I know on other jackets I've had over the years, it even had a hood. I ended up, like on one really inexpensive jacket I got years ago, I ended up cutting the hood off. Um, I just, you know, I, I, I feel like a hood is a really casual look. Whereas without the hood, it's a little bit dressier. I mean, that's just my interpretation of a hood. I mean, take it or leave it, but I like it better with the hood off, but it still looks good with the hood on if that's your, your cup of tea. It's nice that it has it. What's really cool about this jacket as well is not just that it has this really kind of, um, they call this color Peru. I kind of consider it like a really light tan, but almost like a slightly distressed tan. You can see kind of some of the, the darker uh, lines in the grain, which, you know, make it really unique. Uh, guys, I've been looking for a tan jacket for a while, and I ultimately just couldn't settle on the color. This is absolutely perfect. Match this up with some snakeskin cowboy boots and kind of that tan brownish color. Uh, it looks stunning. Uh, what I also like about this is that you have this faux suede material on the inside of the arms and of course on the side of the pockets going up into the armpit. Uh, it is a killer jacket and extremely unique. Guys, again, when you have as many jackets as I have, you're always in the hunt for something different. This is stunning. Also, this is a little bit warmer. It has this really cool kind of fur on the inside. Uh, and it's, it's a very, very soft fur. Um, I'm not going to say it feels just like real fur, but it's awfully close. Um, you know, with their materials, they really are using pretty good quality materials, or pretty high quality materials, I should say, that really replicate what real materials feel like. Um, you know, if this jacket was like, I don't know, $600, and you told me this is real leather, and you put a paper clip on my nose or something where I couldn't smell that it's not real leather, um, and go ahead and feel this, I would almost, it, you'd be hard pressed to think that this is uh, not a real leather jacket. I mean, it's a great look. Uh, again, this is a small, 170 pounds. Uh, it is, I, I, like I said, guys, I mean, I hope you can, you can understand, uh, you know, how excited I am to have received these because they are just absolutely awesome. I mean, they really are. Uh, I mean, check that out. I mean, I, and I love the fact that the everything's different about these coats. The collar has your standard, you know, faux leather collar, but then it also has this 
kind of like, uh, I don't know, something you'd see like maybe on a uh, Letterman jacket. I'm not sure what you call this, but this kind of like, I don't know what you call it, but uh, it, you know, it's just, there's just a lot of cool design aspects. You got your breast pockets here, you got your epaulets, uh, you know, it is just stunning and it fits great. And you know, and the funny thing about it too is that it, it, when you zip it up on a guy my size, you know, it becomes a little more restrictive, but I almost feel like this, this material has a little bit of a give to it, you know? It's not quite as restrictive as real leather. So, I mean, it's a real win-win. I mean, I, I think, you know, like I said, guys, you can look all over the internet and find all kinds of different brands out there. But what I can tell you with this brand is that it's a legit company and you're going to get a really nice quality product for the money. I mean, and I always say for the money. When I say for the money, I mean, it's a good value. I don't want that to come across like, oh, well, for the money, it's okay. This is a fantastic jacket. When I compare this to jackets I have, like, you know, my $600 Icon riding jackets, you know, granted, this is not a jacket that's going to protect you if you fall on a motorcycle. This is a fashion jacket meant to look cool, right? But, you know, when you compare them, they look just as good, you know? They're just slightly different in materials. And this, uh, I mean, I honestly like this more than a lot of the leather jackets that I really like in my collection. So, uh, it is stunning, guys. I mean, I absolutely love this one. This one, I think, is my favorite. I would love to get this in the black as well. Um, you know, and little things like the pockets. I have, When you start getting a jacket that's pretty fitted, a lot of times, you know, and you may wear jackets larger than I wear them. I like things fitted, but a lot of times the pockets will be in kind of odd spots or they become almost unusable. With these, your pockets are still usable on both jackets. They're still very comfortable. You put your, you know, put your keys in or put your hands in. Uh, they're, they're great. I mean, I can't say enough good things about these coats. Now, the third jacket I want to show you is uh, not a vegan leather or leather jacket. Uh, it's more of like a, just a standard, you know, winter coat. Um, I love it. But I, had I known these were going to be so nice, and I'm, a, you know, my whole thing is the leathers, uh, I probably would have ordered a leather jacket. But I do want to show you, I am really happy with this coat because um, it's the kind of coat that, you know, no matter what leather jacket you put on, pleather, leather, whatever it is, you know, it is more restricted than something like this, right? And there's sometimes where I just want to go outside, work in the yard, and have something that's just going to be super warm uh, and, and also pretty stylish, right? I mean, maybe not for working in the yard, but uh, let me just shut up and show you. I, you know, I'm so, I, I apologize if I'm coming across extremely like a kid on Christmas morning, but, you know, the, I'm excited about these. I love them. I'm wearing them for the last three days. Uh, they're, they're great. And I think that, you know, you know, in life, finding things that bring you joy like this and cool products, you know, keep you moving forward and keep you motivated and working and doing your kind of thing, you know, I, I think is great. And I love getting something new to wear. And I, you know, it makes, you know, people do a lot of different things to feel good. And I, I, like I said on my channel, I'm a pretty positive person. When you get something that you put on, you know, it's a Friday night, you get something new, you put it out, you can go out, do whatever. I know in, in you know, COVID times now, a lot of people aren't doing a lot of different things. But, you know, it is fun to get new stuff. And I, and I hope that you, you, that my, in this... <laughs> video where I'm rambling all about these jackets. I hope you can see that I these things are really fun to get stuff like this. And you don't have to have a lot of money to look good, you know, and to feel good. You know, I mean, a lot of guys, that they, they, you know, you, you'll have guys review things on YouTube and say, oh, this jacket doesn't cost $1,200. Like Alpha Male, they'll talk about a $1,200 jacket and why it's, it, you have to spend that. You know, it's like you don't have to spend a lot of money to look good and feel good. So, this one, now that I'm done rambling. So, let's talk about this jacket. So, this one here is uh, extremely comfortable and I love the fact that it has this this is under Coats and Parka so when you go to the website and check it out uh, this one's available in two colors this one here is the black and they have it in a blue and the only difference between the two uh, from what I can tell is the vest the faux vest color so uh, you get the look of a sweater and a vest right um, with I have an Eddie, Eddie Bauer jacket or Eddie Bauer vest I got from an, an X and I wear it all the time it's, it's it's great. Very, it's nice to throw on really quick when you just want something a little bit warmer, give you a little chest warmth. Uh, this gives you that look. And it's a cool coat, guys. I mean, uh, so I will say that I, I think that this size is still small. And I would say that the small fits a little bit closer uh, to a medium on me. Uh, so I think that in this particular cut, they run a little bit large. Um, I probably would have opted for the extra small, but um, still, you know, it's not like it, it's it's too big. I mean, it's just that would be a personal preference on how you like things to fit. Um, it is absolutely awesome. I mean, super comfortable pockets, right in the right spot. You have this black or blue vest. Uh, you get your um, you know two breast pockets here, and you got this really cool 
kind of very soft uh, sweater type material. What I like about it is that it's super warm. You have kind of an inverted uh, cuffs on the sleeve, so they're not actually, you know, if you look at like a Letterman jacket, these kind of ribbed cuffs kind of come out. Uh, these are tucked in, so they, they take a nice uh, kind of a firm grip on your wrist and make a nice seal. Uh, extremely warm and I think extremely breathable. Uh, you do have the hood with kind of a like a Sherpa liner. And on the inside, I don't know what you call this stuff, but you have kind of like this cool, uh, it's almost like a velour um, sweater type material. So it's not like a sweater, it's more of like a velour. Uh, really cool um, you know, designs in their, in their brands and also very, 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 like very nice attention to detail. Um, one thing I always say about like Invicta watches too, and I hate to mention this all the time, but they'll use a combination of finishing, right, to have an end product. So if you just get a silver watch, you have a watch that has like sandblasted finish, polished, brush finish, all in one color. What's cool about this and how I kind of compare that is that they could have very easily just made a very basic, boring liner, right? But they didn't. With this, you wear this jacket, if you wear it open, you have a lot going on with it. It's a very stylish jacket. Um, I love the fact that they did kind of like a faux suede down the collar or down the uh, inside of the zipper here. Again, you have that kind of cool velour sweater type material. Um, it's so nice, you'd almost think the jacket was reversible, which I don't believe it is. Uh, but it is great. I mean, I absolutely love it. And I've been wearing this one here. We're getting, you know, some cold weather now. And it's great to be able to throw something like this on if we're going to go out and get the mail or, you know, head down to the store real quick. Um, sometimes, you know, as stylish as leather is, as stylish as those, those types of materials are, a lot of times when it comes to real warmth, they're not as functional as something like this. Uh, this is, is fantastic, guys. And I think, uh, you know, I think if you give the brand a chance, you will really appreciate what they give you for the money. So let's talk about prices. Right now, uh, you have some pretty good deals going on right now. This right now, they're having, uh, looks like they're having a holiday clearance sale. It says here 50% off store wide. So they do have, uh, all their prices are slashed. So right now, this jacket was $179.99. Uh, it is on sale for $89.95. Now, when we look at, it, for me, uh, you know, you, you, for me, I'm gonna give you guys the, my value opinion, right? For me, the price of $89.95 is a real realistic price for what this jacket should cost all the time, give or take 20 bucks, right? $180, when you start jumping up to the $180 price point, you start looking at brands that start to lean more into uh, real specialized like ski jackets, snowboarding jackets, real outdoor adventure kind of stuff. Um, I, you know, we start getting things, materials that are more waterproof, that kind of stuff. I think for $180, this jacket would be a little bit steep. But in that price point of $89.95, around that area, I think is incredible value. Uh, when we go back to the leather jackets, uh, right now the the Peru jacket, or the, the we'll call it the tan one, uh, let me go with the Titan, I believe it was called, if I remember correctly here. The Titan uh, is on sale for $94.95, and of course, if we go to the engine jacket, that was $115. So, Really reasonably priced jackets. I don't know if you guys have been to like a Macy's or uh, or any of those big box brick and mortar stores in a while, Floyd and Taylor's, whatever those stores are. If you've been to any of those stores, you'd be hard pressed to find anything that was in a jacket that wasn't over a hundred bucks. So I think this, these that the price they have these right now are extremely competitive. I hope that these prices uh, don't fluctuate too much. You know, a lot of times when you see companies like Invicta, they'll always have their jack their their watches on sale, so you're not actually paying full MSRP. With this company, I don't know what the price are going to be after Christmas, but I do encourage you uh, if you are interested and you do like the way these coats look and you do want to pick one up is to maybe order one uh, ASAP before you know the, the sale ends. Uh, I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. I like the brand so much, and after looking at their other jackets, uh, my dad absolutely loved this coat. And my dad doesn't really like a lot of different coats. He's you know very very basic guy. Uh, you know he's a. Uh, you know, more, very functional, and he really liked this one. So I'm really hoping at a later date I can collaborate with them again and maybe get one for my pops. Um, if I do collaborate with them again, I do want to check out, they have another jacket that is sold out. And this is one of my original picks as well. Um, it does have uh, a very similar design to the Titan jacket. This one here is their, they call it their luxury leather jacket. Uh, I don't know if that, I believe it's a name or if they forgot the name or what, um, but that's uh, kind of got some kind of, um, let me sit back down here, kind of got some, um, what do they call that, quilting on the on the breast area. They do have a couple other ones. They have their uh, boulevard jacket, which is more of like your, your Brando style jacket. They have uh, kind of a fleece biker jacket. 
a uh, couple other variations here, but I think of the ones I chose, you know, for what I have in my collection, they were the most unique ones compared to all the other coats that I've seen uh, available on, you know, eBay, Amazon, the thousands of jackets that I constantly look through for looking for something unique. Um, I really like these. They were very different compared to the other ones. Now, there is one negative thing I will say about it, and this is a, a very small, small gripe. Uh, this is more for the company. Uh, on the Titan jacket, the only thing that I can really knock this jacket on and this is again this is ridiculous to even mention but is the tag on the back uh, the other jackets have the tag stitched to the back of the jacket this one here is kind of a large uh, flap what I find with this coat is when you put it on a lot of times the tag will actually lay up because of the way you put it on it kind of drags onto your neck and it's sticking up so you kind of got to reach back and pop that back down again a very very small gripe uh, but I did want to mention it just for their future jackets. They should probably just stitch that down And it's probably something that um, I'm probably not gonna go through the trouble of doing that But um, but you know you could cut it out if it really bothered you But it was something that I did notice a few times and I kept feeling something sticking up I'm like what is that and it sure enough was a tag not that difficult to just pop it down very small gripe But uh, you know it just I, again I think it is worth mentioning as far as their reviews They don't have a lot of reviews on their website and I'm a firm believer that reviews really um, when it comes to private companies like this uh, or private websites uh, or independent websites, take reviews with a grain of salt because a lot of times you don't know who's actually doing the reviews. I am going to add a review to there. We'll see if it pops up and I'll let you guys know in the comment section. Uh, it is available in small, medium, large, extra large, and 2XL. And, uh, you know, there's not a lot of information on it, but uh, I will tell you, it does say scratch resistant and abrasion proof. Uh, nothing is proof, but I gotta tell you, I'm like my dad in a way, a lot of times I'll, I'll wear this nice stuff and I'll, you know, go put air in my tire. I gotta do something. I don't change into crummy clothes, right? And I was in my garage and my workbench, she's got like stainless steel kind of top and it's got a really sharp edge. I've cut myself on it numerous times. I put holes in many uh, shirts due to this and I was reaching down today and I heard a little and I was like, you gotta be kidding me. Please don't let me put a hole in it. And I looked and there wasn't even a mark and it's a pretty sharp corner. So there is, I gotta say, a little bit, I can kind of confirm that there is a little bit of abrasion resistance uh, to this type of material. So I'm pretty happy with that, you know, and I just, you know, saw that as I'm telling, as I'm making this video. So, uh, pretty cool, guys. So, again, links in the description. Check it out. Let me know what you guys think. I love when you guys comment and, and let me know your thoughts. Uh, you know, this is how companies get better too. You know, just be, a lot of times when you comment, it's not just for my benefit. When you comment and give your two cents, the companies that work with me, they look at this and, and, and you know, if a company is a good company, they will take what their customers say and they'll take it, you know, take it into account. You know, if you have one person saying something, it's you know, and you have you know 40 people saying one thing and one person saying another, they're probably not going to make a change. But if they see other people saying things, uh, you know, and even good things, it, it lets them know that they're doing the right thing. So if you have one of these jackets, if you're looking to get one of these jackets, drop a comment. It is appreciated. And I do thank you guys for taking the time to watch. David Adderware, I do appreciate you guys sending me three jackets to review. I really look forward, uh, hopefully, to another collaboration. And there's nothing cooler than me getting to... Uh, to put up a video and get more jackets in my collection. Uh, I love a coat and I love this time of year where you get to enjoy them, use them, and always look your best. Remember guys, again, no matter what your budget, you can look your best. So thanks for watching guys, have a great day, subscribe, and take care.